Hi everyone. So in this video, I will detangle my hair. My hair has been actually in a ponytail for about 30 days or a little bit more, a little bit over. My hair has been so demanding recently. So be as minimalistic with my hair, which hopefully doesn't bite me in the butt later because I know this detangle process is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So early in the pandemic, I did record a video on detangling your hair during this pandemic and I lost the footage, which breaks my heart. And it's my fault because I was like, oh, I don't want to put it up. I don't want to put it up. Being fearful or nervous for no reason. And now I lost the footage, so that's a problem. Nevertheless, it's the same emotions. And basically, it's not easy to detangle your hair. And what's really not easy is to have people to detangle your hair who don't know how to detangle hair. So hey, everyone. So in this portion of the video, I will be doing a voiceover. And the video will be going very fast. It's in itself. However, I will restate the steps that I took. I didn't want this video to be really long. It was already so long. However, in the beginning, you see me having my hair in four sections. And I was starting off with one section in the back. I always start with the back. The back of my hair is as tangly as the middle of the top of my head. However, I like to start with the back because it helps me really feel where my hair is and the status of my hair, the state of my hair. So what I was doing initially is adding aloe vera water, aloe vera juice to my hair, spraying it. And then I was adding my favorite product, which is tea tree tangle. It's the Trader Joe's tea tree tangle. And this product is gold. It's amazing because it allows my hair to have the slip. It has potent ingredients and that's very important. Uh, if you guys could recall last year, I made a video about a particular product, Aussie Moist, which does not have the best ingredients for your hair, even though it offers that great slip. So just because the product offers slip does not mean the ingredients are healthy or beneficial for your hair. And this goes for, I believe, all hair types. So even if your hair is like type 1A, you should still look at the ingredients in the products that's being used so that you can maintain length and you can maintain that luster and that strength in your hair strands. So that's the white products that you see. And I'm basically showing you, first of all, it took me so long to detangle the back of my hair because as I stated in the beginning of this video, I have my hair in a ponytail for like about 30 days and I'm trying to be minimalistic with what I do with my hair because I realized that protective spots, sorry, protective styles does work and help you with retaining your hair length. However, if you're using products that does not aid to your hair growth and the health of your hair is pointless. So I was basically more minimal with my hair styles because I realized that my products that I'm using is rich in ingredients. So I don't have to do much with my hair. I could just leave in a ponytail. My hair is still gonna grow. Of course, it's important to detangle and all that great stuff. Uh, you know, two, every two weeks, every week, depending on your hair texture. For me, I've always washed my hair about once a month and that has worked for me, of course. Now, if you can see the video, I'm like rubbing my scalp because it is so itchy. So I try not to do 30, over 30 days. I try to do like about 21, 25 days, maybe 29 days, but nothing more than that. So like you see this part, I'm like rubbing my scalp and there's, there's a longer like clip of me rubbing my scalp because it's crazy. Uh, so here I'm, ram I'm rambling about Michelle Obama becoming on Netflix, which I loved. I loved it so much. It was very much inspiring, uh, especially for us women of color. I love the quote that she says, I've been at the table and it's for us all. The people that's at the table don't even know how they got there and you know it's usually because of the white supremacy white privilege uh however we understand from her experience once you put in the work you'll see that you belong at that table don't be intimidated by that table and also make your own table create your own table so i love michelle obama netflix uh becoming documentary if you have the chance definitely watch it it will inspire you to save the world 
Um, also, I'm laughing throughout this video. I'm actually doing my hair finally now. But before I was laughing because I was talking about Jackie Ina video, who I'm, I love Jackie Ina. She's one of, I would say, easily top three YouTubers, favorite YouTubers. And she made a video about uh, your 20s versus your 30s. And around this time, I think I turned 29. So I like to hear knowledge uh, from individuals who I believe is speaking not only from experience, but speaking from a place of wisdom. And she also shares the same faith, which is Christianity, as myself. So I really like to hear her sagacious advice about her 20s. And she's not too far from me. She, I think she's about 33. Nevertheless, um, you know, we still have different upbringings and experiences. And I really like how she talks about, you know, friendships and how in our early 20s, and I was definitely say for me, teenage years, like, we, I just took stuff so personal. I weighed everything on that one experience in my early 20s and 19, in my teenage years. And if you haven't already, I please catch my book on Amazon and on my website. And it's the 10 year journey to reclaim myself as God's property. I don't belong to the devil. And in this book, I talk about a few experiences I had that the enemy was so strategic with bringing me away from my destiny with Christ, from my true identity in Christ. And it was literally because of those, those moments where I was like, oh my gosh, the end all be all. But in Christ Jesus, ain't no end all be all. And we thank God for redemption and restoration. So I was talking about her video and she just definitely makes me laugh. She was talking to her younger sister too. And I just thought that was so cute. Um, you could tell that they have a nice, healthy relationship. And, uh, I just loved it. I love that video. So if you haven't already watched that video too, especially if you're still in your 20s, I just feel like you should watch that because although, you know, we know late 20s, like, oh my gosh, it's over. No, it's not over. I feel like I feel, I still feel young by the grace of God, even though with all these car accidents and these back pains, girls and boys, it's ridiculous. Uh, but I still feel young. Um, nevertheless, I still understand that, okay, time is of the essence, and there's so many more that God has called me to do in all aspects of my life, and I'm ready to do them. And I thank God for, you know, the calling and purpose. So it's a great video to watch to continue to align yourself in perspective of timing and where you are and healing of the past uh healing is very important last year i completed um uh, i completed my book of the 10-year journey however i went on a different journey uh last year about healing my soul i don't believe in soul searching i believe in soul healing because we already have our soul the soul is already an entity of our bodies and that comprise of your mind will of emotions and i was on the journey of healing my mind uh, aligning my will back with the will of god and my emotions keeping that in my emotions in checks because your emotions you know they come from a place of not wisdom and I wanted to make sure that my emotions were kept in check and I led my emotions. So back to hair guys, let's get back to the hair. So that's what I was cackling the back, all right? Cackling the back, cackling about. So I'm basically done here and I was able to detangle my hair and I'm showing you the products I use, the Redican system, which add moisture and I do like it a lot. And the Olaplex system, which adds protein, which I love. I love them both. And they really stick in my hair. So I'm just showing you what my end results look like. And this is the hair that came out. And I'm glad it's over. So thank you for watching. God bless.